Are you confused by which AI models you use in 2025? Whether you're looking to generate images, coding, research, or doing multilingual tasks, the options here can feel overwhelming. So in this video, I will break down the top performing AI models to use using real benchmarks like ELO scores, costs, speed, and reasoning benchmarks. This video will help you decide which model gives you the best quality and the fastest generation time and the lowest cost based on your needs. So here's what we're gonna cover in this video. First, we're gonna take a look at the best AI models for image generations. Then we're gonna dive into the top performers and image to video generations. After that, we're also gonna explore models with the highest general intelligence score. And we're also gonna compare the best models for coding, math, and multilingual tasks. And finally, we're gonna take a step back and look at the global AI race comparing the top models from around the world. Now, by the end of this video, you will have a clear idea of which AI model to use. But before we jump in, please let me know in the comments which AI model are you using right now or which one are you most curious about in 2025? All right, so with that being said, let's get started. And first up, we're gonna dive into the top AI models for image generation. All right, so the first section we're gonna take a look at is image generation. So based on this chart, it's gonna show us the ELO score, which is the metrics for image generation quality. And you can see that the highest score has the highest quality and lowest score has the lowest quality. And based on this chart, it shows us a top 10 that has the highest image generation quality. And you can see the top one here so far, based on this chart is from Rave Image from Half Moon. And second by Recraft V3, Imagine 3 from Google, as well as Flux 1.1 Pro and Mid Journey. Now, if we also wanna compare the quality of versus the price, then here is also another metrics. So here you can see based on this metrics here, we have the quality and the price. And the price is gonna be one USD per 1000 image generations. So based on this chart, the best quadrant that we can consider is gonna be the top left because it has the lowest price and also the highest quality image generation. So based on this chart, you can see that for Imagine 3 from Google has the highest quality and also the lowest cost. Second by Flex 1.1 Pro and Recraft V3. Now we also have a chart for quality versus generation time. If you're looking for a model that can be able to generate image that has the highest quality for the image generation, but also generate this image very fast, then this is the metrics that we can look at. For example, here you can see we have the generation time in seconds. And based on this chart, we do see that Recraft V3 has the highest quality, but also has a lower generation time. Second by Flex 1.1 as well as Flex 0.1 depth. And if we were to compare the price, then here is the charts. So this is the price for $1 per 1000 image generation. And you can see that these are the lower price, but based on the data that we see so far, we do know that Imagine 3 as well as Recraft V3 and Flex 1.1 has the higher quality, also lower generation time and the best price that we can get. And you can see that these models has a price roughly around 40 bucks per 1000 image generations. Now, if you're looking for more up to date data, there's also a leaderboard that we can take a look at. And based on this leadership board, which updated every hour, you can see that the highest that we have so far is from the OpenAI GPT 4.0, which has the highest ELO score among the rest, which makes sense because recently I just made a video to talk about GPT 4.0 for image generations. And if you are curious about how it works, then please check out this video right here. But back to this leadership board, you can see that other than the OpenAI for the highest quality, we also still have Rave Image Half Moon for the second and Recraft AI as well as Imagine 3 as the second tier option. Now there's also a leadership board for the video generations. So if you care about text to video, then there's a few options. So in the last video, I showed you how we can be able to generate a video using the OpenAI Sora, but you can see that there are also some other models that are better than the OpenAI Sora. For example, Vivo2 from Google or Kling from Quaisho. And there's also options for image to video. For example, you can be able to convert the image into a video. Kling 1.6 Pro and Vivo2 still remain dominant dominance in, the, in their leaderboard. Now, if the general intelligence index is what you care about for the models, like how smart it is by the overall usage, then we can use this chart to evaluate. So you can see that based on this chart, it uses seven evaluation, like reasoning, knowledge, math, and coding to evaluate the intelligence index of a model. So based on this chart, you can see that the one that have the highest intelligent index are Google Gemini 2.5 Pro, as well as Grok 3, O3 Mini from OpenAI. And you can see that for the bar chart, which has stripes, they're basically estimates, which are yet to determine, but you can see that for the solid bar charts, like GPT-03 Mini, as well as DeepSeek R1, which remain dominant in the general intelligence index. Now we can also group them by the reasoning model, as well as the non 
non-reasoning model, we can generally see that for reasoning model, they usually have a higher intelligence index. For example, O3 Mini, R1, Q132B, and Claw 3.7, they're all reasoning model, which means that they will basically generate the reasons on how they came up with the answer along with the answer. And this way, it will give us a clear explanation on how the AI model generates the answer rather than just give you a straight up answer without explanation. But what if you want to find the AI model that's best for coding? for example, then here is the benchmark for this. So you can see that based on this charts, we have the highest intelligence coming from O3 Mini from OpenAI with a intelligence index of 57. And then we also followed by Q132B and DeepSeek R1 as well as Claude Sonnet 3.7. And based on this code index, we're basically evaluating based on the intelligent index from live code bench, which is more interactive, more real-time coding challenges or things like how to build an application or how to solve a particular bug. Then this is more like live code bench. And then we also have a science coding, which is more for scientific research, uh, more like science or research or data science. And that is what it's for. And you can see that we evaluate by both use cases. Now, if your purpose is only for doing math, for example, then here is the benchmark for this. So we have the Gemini 2.5 Pro and O3 Mini high from OpenAI remains the highest intelligent index for math. But what if you are looking for a model that's good for different languages, for example, English, Spanish, Chinese, and such, right? Then here you can see based on this charts, we have the multilingual index for the average across languages. And you can see that the highest among all, which is going to be Claude 3.5, as well as O1 and GPT-40. Now, if you also care about the language model intelligence competition between countries, between US and China, for the two countries that are dominating the language model intelligence in the world, you can see that from this charts, we do see that US frontier language model model intelligence is currently dominating the market from the OpenAI O3, second by DeepSeek R1. But if we were to look at the past history on when it was started, you can see that it was started on roughly around Q4 of 2022. And you can see that was the first release of GPT 3.5 Turbo with the intelligence of roughly between 50 to 55. And then it slowly increased to GPT 4, which to 70 to 75 for the intelligent index. And then just around that time, you can see that Alibaba has also released Q1 Chats 7B. And then you can see that there is a huge gap between the China and US language model intelligence. And then as the time progressed, you can see that China has also catch up to the US frontier large language model intelligence with the release of DeepSeek R1. And you can see See this slowly the intelligence score between the models from different countries has closing the gap and if you only want to compare us market alone for the ai intelligence here we also have a chart for this so the competition is between openai anthropic google and meta here you can see that at the start we have gpt 3.5 turbo as the open ai models has getting smarter you can see that also some other models has also catching up to the open ai intelligence index and based on this chart you can clearly see that as the gap between all the models are getting closer and closer we can see that probably in the future eventually where all the models intelligence score are pretty much very similar and then later on the only factor we need to consider as a user is the price. So to conclude everything, we have compared the top AI models for image generations, video creations, coding, math, and multilingual tasks in this video. I would love to hear your thoughts on which model stood out the most to you and which one do you think fits your needs the best. Please comment down below. And if you found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more AI insights. Thank you for watching and I will see you in this one.